in this video I will show you an easy way to sew a jeans zipper. This method actually can be used on any trousers with top stitching. For the purpose of this video, I will be using dummy jeans, front pieces and contrast threads for a better demonstration. How to make a fly facing and fly shield pattern, determine zipper length and apply interfacing you can find in my other video, link provided in the description to this video. Here I have left and right front pieces, zipper tape, fly facing and fly shield. As you can see, I already overcast the edges of fly facing, fly shield and crotch edge of the right leg piece. On my right leg piece, I have an extended seam allowance of 1.5 cm. On any other edges, I have 1 cm seam allowance. I start with my left leg piece and attach fly facing. So place fly facing onto the left leg piece, right side to right side, align the edges and do a straight stitch 1 cm away from the edge. 1 cm is my seam allowance. Next, fold the fly facing piece as shown, like this. Before continue stitching, fold this little piece of seam allowance under the fly facing piece, like this, and do a straight stitch one or two millimeters away from folded line. Next, fold fly facing like this under the front leg piece and do a straight stitch 5 mm away from the folded edge. You can actually skip this step or you can use a top um, stitching threads. It's up to you.
Next step is to trim seam allowance in half along the crotch edge, leaving 5 mm of seam allowance. Then fold the seam allowance inwards as shown and press it. Is my left leg piece after pressing it with an iron. Now, I'm going to use my stitching template to mark a line for my top stitching. I do it now because I don't have anything underneath and it's easy for me to draw a nice curved line. Next, we can attach zipper tape. So, place your zipper tape onto the facing. Onto the facing, right side to right side. Zipper tape edge should align with the crotch edge. And don't forget about your seam allowance at the waistline. Align the edges and pin in place. And do a straight stitch. Stitching the zipper to the facing. Do a straight stitch along the outer edge of the zipper tape. I'm stitching approximately 5 mm away from zipper teeth. Next, we can do top stitching, but before we top stitching, we need to secure the unsewn edge of zipper tape.
just fold it down like this and secure with the pin to keep it out of the way while we top stitching. This step is important because we will need to attach our fly shield to this part of the tape. And now I can do top stitching. I changed my thread to stop stitching threads and I increased my um, stitch length to 3.5 millimeters. Next we can attach fly shield piece, so remove the pin to free zipper tape edge and you don't have to trim your zipper tape, it's just I trim off the extended piece, but you don't need to do it if you don't want to. Next, we can attach a fly shield piece to align the crotch edge of left leg piece to the surgery seam on the fly shield piece. So only your surgery seam is visible, the rest is under the leg piece, like this. The width of my surgery seam is 7 millimeters and pin in place. You can use pins or base if needed. And do a straight stitch along the outer edge of uh, zipper tape. I'm sewing approximately 5 millimeters away from the um, zipper tape edge. Now we can attach the right leg piece. On my right leg piece, I have 1.5 cm seam allowance along the zipper placement area. What I do here is folding 5 mm of the seam allowance and press. I'm just folding 5 mm that I have extra along the zipper placement area, like this, and press it with your iron.
and this is my center line. I'm just making the center line, the seam allowance line, uh, more visible for you. So I fold it down 5 millimeters, and I have my, my 1 centimeter seam allowance at the moment along the entire crotch edge, crotch line. Because I just folded 5 millimeters. So next, what I need to do is to take left side and right side and align the crotch H, this H, to my center line on my right side. Just align these two marks, the H and the line, and pin it in place. Just simply align the edge to that um, center line on the right leg piece and pin it. Pin it or baste it, whatever you prefer. And do a straight stitch one or two millimeters away from the crotch edge on the right leg side. Now we can finish the crotch seam and join right and left leg pieces together. You just need to align folded edge of the left leg piece and seam allowance line on the right leg piece. Before stitching, snip 4 mm into seam allowance on the right leg piece, like this. And align the edge 
folded edge and seam allowance line. Start stitching at the end of your pricing. I'm using top stitching threads. And uh, my stitch length is 3.2 millimeters. I need to transfer my threads onto the wrong side of the fabric. And lastly, lastly, we need to do reinforcement stitches to prevent crotch seam from tearing and secure fly facing fly shield and left leg pieces together. And my reinforcement stitches will be here and here. For reinforcement stitches I use zigzag stitches. I will leave um, details for um, zigzag stitches in the description to this video. And after that, you're done. The zipper is finished.